This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is March 12th, 2019, and I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas to give us our daily watch list. Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. So today's watch list will be VVPR, TLRA, CHMA, JNCE, and QTNA. So let's get right to it. So let's talk about VVPR, and that means that is for Vivo Power. And you know what? What a power stock that was today. I mean, I don't know if you guys know what this company does, but they're into the utility business. Uh, they actually do solar power, and um, they're a producer of that. And uh, they have many years of experience in the solar power industry. So uh, definitely um, you can check out their website. They, they do so many things. They own a lot of power plants. They actually have lots of revenue because they, they get the money from um, data-driven technology services or people that uh, use their technology. So this is a very interesting company. And solar power, as we know, is very popular. And it's also a very capital-efficient way to generate money. So um, you can check out their website, vivopower.com. So now just over to the stock. So earlier today, during the day, um, we uh, the stock did go as high, believe it or not, as 319 and opened up this morning at 120. And you know what? I got to give credit. Paula is a fabulous uh, trader. And just so you know, she doesn't trade full time. She trades part time. She does a lot of swing trades. And uh, she's not around every single day. But you know what? She was around today and she alerted the stock and she brought it to our attention uh, that her VVPR set off an alert on her platform and it broke the resistance that she was looking for. So we got into this trade at 149 and my goodness, yeah. we didn't even look back. This thing just was a machine all day. So Jim, turn it over to you to talk to us about vvpr because it still looks pretty bullish yes it definitely was and this is the play of the day we called it out at 149 in the room and probably earlier that day but we had a 319 high which went up 113 percent from that call and i want to give kudos also to paula and miss vegas for identifying this trade and i got in it scalped it i think three times today and i am the scalper of the room so let's talk about the chart and let me pull up, that's not the one I want to use, so we'll just move this over here. There we go. So this is VVPR. We're going to look at the yearly chart first, just to see what it looks like on a year. See where we are. So this did have some highs up here. This can has more room to run. We did have a year high of 669, but the wick base on it is right around probably 439. That's where I'm going to call my resistance at. I need to put this drawing in here. So this is a yearly chart. We'll put that right there at 439. Then we have another resistance right here, right around 354. And we'll throw another one right here and another one right here. So I'll have this ready for me tomorrow. We're going to pull up the 20 day show you what it looked like on a 20-day chart one hour we've been flat most of the most of the month we did get up here to about 132 and she did pull back to a year low looks like we had a fat finger down here at 66 cents but that didn't last very long and so we had I'd say probably a year support on well this 20-day support right at 96 cents today she broke out I got in this trade right around 140 141 then I scalped it to 150 to 154. Then I got back in it on a pullback at 150 and run it up a little bit higher. And I did scalp this trade three times, but I failed to get in on the big run later in the day, which I feel like I'm an idiot for not doing that. So let's pull this up to the daily and look at the daily and we can try to find supports and pivot points where we're going to get in this trade. Now it did pull back. It did pull back a little bit to this previous high. And that's right around here, right around 220, 218 area. I got 219 as a support, so I'm going to turn that into a red line. That way I can identify that in the morning. Now, if this thing wants to pull back any more, which I don't know if it will or not, but if it does, I'm going to be looking down here at this 184 area. 
that's where that blue line is so I'm going to make this blue line a little bit bigger so we can identify it tomorrow morning I'm going to turn it into a three and it'll stand out there and it give a little bit of brightness so that little channel in there is going to be my low support my first one's going to be right here around 210 to 219 so if it goes below that 210 area it could probably hit right around oh, 197 maybe and hold that's where I want to try to get in this trade if it pulls back but I am going to play a dead cat bounce on this it did hit that 319 high and pulled back so did the 20 SMA curled down below the 50 the 100 and the 200 showing a sign of weakness but if this 20 starts to curl up and the 20 and the 50 starts to curl up and the and the 100 starts to curl up I'm going to be bullish on this trade again this is VVPR thanks for um, Paula and Vegas calling us out in the room today and we we identified it way before this morning I mean when it popped up on the scanners I, I started checking it out and I usually get my scanners on trade ideas and also on um, thinkorswim where I get my morning watch list and I, I arrive from that and then I go ahead and continue the rest of the day the next stock we're going to talk about is TLRA okay so TLRA um, you know we've talked about this company in the past you know Telleria and um, you know I hope sometimes that you know for those of you especially that have a job or you can't trade all day or you know what even if you can like some people just can't handle day trading it's just so stressful so I don't blame you for not being able to also day trade it's just too crazy sometimes uh, this is a great stock we've talked about this company and um, you know this company has uh, they're into technology and innovation you know they they do a lot of things for content owners and publishers and for advertisers to introduce their brand to the audience. And uh, they rely on a company like Telleria to help them do that. Um, we did talk about this stock really from a swing trade perspective. And my goodness, this had a nice run today. And um, for those of you that have traded this from a swing trade, congratulations. I mean, this has ran beautifully. And you know what? Even today, it opened at 525 very nice volume 2.34 million one as high as 591 and you know i gotta say i think i'm, I'm still bullish on the stock uh i'm still seeing a lot of buying here after hours 10,000 shares 16,000 shares so there is still a uh, good buying happening here on the stock and i'm going to turn it over to jim and tell us about this chart because this to me broke through the resistance that i was looking at and uh, I'm kind of liking where this is going. So I'd like to hear where you think it's going to go so I could start moving up some stops and start having some targets here. Well, you better get your pencil and paper out then. I'm ready. Okay, so here we go. i first like to analyze the stock by looking at the yearly daily. And you can tell we have had a breakout on this stock for the past two weeks. Broke above the yearly resistance of 456. And that's right where she opened up at here this day at 456. And I do that because I'm running these baselines on this spot right here over here. So I pretty much got this charted out already. Let's pull it up to the 20-day. Uh, that's the next one I go to on an hourly. Al, al, hour. <laughs> I never could get that right. So I'm going to put a little support level right here at 501. Now I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm going to put another one right here at 575. So what we got here is we got us a little cup and handle from this 20-day chart. Cup and handle, you see what I'm talking about? And it's kind of coming down just a little bit, not much. But what I like about it is the 50, the 20-day is moving up, the 100's moving up, and the 50 and the 200 moving average. SMAs are moving up on this chart. So I've got all my trend lines in place. I do believe that we're gonna we are gonna pull back to this 576 and that's not much from this 580 so I'm gonna look for another place of, of support and I'm finding one right here I'm gonna add 550 to this trend line and I'm gonna make this trend line red I'm gonna turn that trend line red because that 550 is gonna be a little place of support for me and then I'm gonna hit the OK button that's gonna be my first label of support you see how it touched right up here 
how we've touched right in here in the bases, how it came down the base there, and you got the bases here. So this is a solid support level right here at the 550 area. That's about a 30 cent dip. I hate to see it go any lower than that. If it does, we're going to hit the other support that's right down here at the 528 level. So I'm going to darken this up to a dark blue. And that's how I'm going to go to my low support. I'll change this to a 3 and identify it. Bam. Let me pull up the one year chart on this just one more time. I just want to pull it up one more time and see what I missed. So we're, we're, we need to break the 596 area. And I'm going to pull up a three year to see if I can find any more resistances on this chart for the move up. And we are at a three year high. So definitely we've got two ideals of support the 527 and the 550 and we could stop right here at this 542 area so somewhere in that channel between 530 529 530 to to 540 550 let's pull up the daily every chart tells a story I'm gonna change this to a three minute I usually trade on a one minute when I'm scalping so we got a support right here at the 575 level and we got another one right in this area right in here and I'm gonna draw me a trend line right there at the 562 just to see if it wants to pull back below these moving averages if not I'm seeing this and these moving averages move throughout the day so they're not they're not permanent but you see how this moving average the 200 hits that 557 that could be a good spot a good place for it to land too. So I'm going to keep this on watch tomorrow. We're definitely at a three year high breakout. We're at a two year high, one year high, and today was an all time high. So at 591. And we got these two other resistances we got a breakout past, and that's the 596. I think once we get past the six, you might see some new buyers come in. And I'm going to draw me a little trend line right here at 588. I think that's the one we need to break. And you see this consolidated period where they tried to bust out earlier and it finally pulled back to support and then bam, it went ahead and broke that. And that area is right in here around 585. So let's get it past 596 tomorrow and create some new highs on this trade. TLRA. And Vegas, Bye. what's the next one? Okay, so the next one is uh, CHMA. And I had to bring this up again because... You know, we talked about this last Wednesday sure and mentioned that uh, CHMA is uh, Chiasma. And, uh, we, you know, we mentioned it because I mentioned that they were going to have a couple conferences that they're going to go to. It had a 52-week high last week. And now we're basically almost a week later into the stock. And, you know, back then when we talked about it, it was $5.95. And where's the stock today? Let's have a look. It's moved up nicely. It's at six seventy-five currently after hours. Um, so, the, you know, it's had a nice move today on CHMA. Now, I do want to mention, you know, people uh, were wondering, and it went at, as high as 673 today. I mean, it opened at 620. So it had a very nice move today. Very pleased with the stock. Again, this is kind of uncrowded. You know, it's not like millions of trades are going through, but it's enough to move the stock. Um, you know, this is one of those trades that you just stress-free, no chasing, and if you were in the swing from last week, I mean, you'd be up basically almost a dollar. So this company, Chiasma, you know, they are um, in the development of uh, medication for acromegaly. And what that is, that's a hormonal disorder. And what it does is it affects the pituitary gland where it produce, produces um, the, the too much growth hormone in your body. So as you age and become older, what happens is your bones increase in size. So your feet get the, the, your feet in your hands and your face, the bones grow and get bigger. So it usually actually affects middle-aged adults. So I'm thinking like middle-aged, would that be like someone in their late 40s or 50s? Um, they could have this kind of um, medical condition. So they are working to develop capsules uh, that can help to treat uh, this particular condition or help, you know, be like a preventative, um, you know, treatment for people. So that's good to know. Um, and over to Jim on this chart, because I'm still really liking it. Uh, I'm looking for this. I'm actually looking for this to go a little bit higher, but I want to hear what the chartist artist thinks. Well, the chartist artist sure likes the guy smile on this face on this website. 
Yeah, he's so friendly. Yeah, friendly smile. So we broke out. Yeah. This Vegas called this out, and it's broke out, bounced up since, and we've created new highs on this again. Today was another new high at 676. This keeps going. We had a solid support down here at 338. We tried to give give it away up here right around the, the uh, 424 area, double top. Couldn't do it. Pulled back. Hit that 200 SMA. Dipped a little bit below it to 213. Tried to do it again. We couldn't break that high. So she fell back to support. And then she just took off here in the past. Oh, heck, you call, almost call that 30 days. Less than 30 days. So we're going to pull up. We're going to look at the uh, three-year chart just once. I just want to take a glance at it, see if we're missing anything. We've got some highs up in here, and then she had a big old dip right here. So I don't see, I see a gap in here somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and put that trend line right there at 776 for our next resistance, because I don't see anything beyond that. Unless, unless we look at five years, and that's what I'm going to do right now. We'll go to a month. Hit OK. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can tell that's going to bring I us any lower. So, and what you hear right now is that trade ideas scanner going off. So, it's giving us alerts as we talk. This here is 9-11 right here. So, and then we'll have another resistance right up in here. So, let's pull up the 20-day. Beautiful little stair step pattern. Did have a little pullback here. It seems like it pulls back and consolidates from the previous highs. We did have like a little top right in here. So she's ran up. She's ran up. Now we've got to find a little support unless she wants to go ahead and break up to that $7 area. And that's where I'm going to call the next resistance, next imaginary target price of 7 bucks. So if it pulls back any at all, we could see it probably hit this 649 area, drop about less than 20 cents. If not, that's 641, and I hate to see it go any lower than 635 on a dip. And it can pull back. I mean, you've seen the patterns here. It, it, it's definitely evident to do that. But also, it's evident to keep on climbing up the staircase. So let's break this 673 tomorrow. That's going to be our high that we need to break and move up to that 7 bucks. And then I'll be posting the new highs in the room as we go on up and I will be calling these supports out too or when I think the right time to get in and Miss Vegas will probably too she likes to get in the break of resistance a lot and and she likes to get in them uncrowded trades and I think this could be featured in both both cases. and you know what I, I just wanted to add really quickly that you know yes. I went back to my notes because I take a lot of notes when we do these videos yes and one of the things we actually talked about the stock back on oh my goodness March 10th Okay, so, uh, was it March 10? Hold on. Uh, sorry, not March 10th. On, I think it looks like the 4th here. Yeah, this seemed like it was just a couple of days ago, man. This yeah, guy's it was like, we actually keeps... talked about it like a week ago. And, you know, I have it noted here, CHMA noted in video uh, that the stock was trading at that time at $4.75. So looking at where it is now, we're up $2 a share. Yeah. practically yeah, from like five, where five when early. we first started talking about this it's just amazing move yep and i see that where i drew that trend line too it was after hours and we were, and i can see where i had a support level here around 519 to 525 mm -hmm. pull back to it and then she went ahead and took off oh yeah so let's look at the day i think we talked about it i think i pulled up the daily no i haven't so let's look at this let's see what i can see I see a pullback support right around here at 664, runs in 665, runs right into that 100 SMA. And I and I do play the pullbacks on these moving averages because they're simple. They're called the SMA. That's why they're simple. That's a good way for beginners to start out and then move on to the EMAs. So we got a low support right now after hours here at, at the 652 area. And don't look like too many trades are coming in after hours. So we're going to wake up tomorrow and see where this thing wants to do. We do have a support level right in here. And we have another one right down here right around the 635 area. If she decides to pull out. And that's where she broke out today. That's where she broke out today. So I don't see it going any lower than that. 
maybe the 649, 650 area. I'm Dag. gonna turn this into F. a red line. Flex A C S C O C Z R I N T C Z A Y L U M M R K N J M S F T O R C L S E Snap T. So it will change this into about a three size three here, and that's where I think support's gonna be right around 649. And the next one we're going to talk about, and, and remember, this is new highs. This is new highs, so let's just pull this up one more time and take one more year look at it. We're going to try to hit the target of 7 bucks if we can break past that 673. And the pullback's going to be right around the 650, 650 area. And I hope that holds. If it don't, it's probably going to pull back a little bit more to this 632. And this is CHMA. Okay, so next one's called, uh, I guess we call it Jones. I like to call it Jones, Jones Therapeutics. And, you know, this company is another biotech. They're into the treatment of cancer and to help therapies that develop and enable the immune system to attack these tumors and hopefully bring long-lasting benefits where people can live longer and helping also with the way that cancer is treated. And that's also in their pipeline. So uh, JNCE, once again, you know, we've traded this before. You know, they, they had top earnings, by the way, uh, this particular stock. Uh, so it was an earnings mover last week. We had this back then for a day trade back around $5.33. However, today, once again, Miss Paula, she was on fire. She alerted this at $6.22 on JNCE. She had set up her own watch list with uh, alerts on where she'd like to take the trade if it triggers again. And her set was at 622. And you know what? What a great, great alert. Um, the stock opened this morning at 550, went to 712. So that is impressive. Uh, even taking it at her 622, people did very well and made some good money. Um, and currently, even after hours, it's around, you know, 678-ish. And uh, I think there could be a continuation here. I mean, the earnings were good, too. So, Jim, what are your thoughts on this uh, JNCE? I'm trying to draw me up a few more trend lines here. Okay. And we'll see what we got. So this is a year's chart. She had had a 266 bottom. She has. She was up here at 29.25 and has had some pretty big drama as she pulls down on the year's chart. And it looks like we curled up a little bit here at the end of last year when we had the big sell-off in December. She did bounce up to this support resistance level of right around 5 bucks, a little bit under it. Then she had a support level. She pulled back to right around, oop, I didn't want to put that trend line in there, so I'm going to take that out of there. Right about there, right at 345. So pull up a 20-day chart, get a different look at it. She's had a great run here, weekly chart, breakout from around 436 to resistance high of right around 704. So this stock pull back, it already has after hours. It hit that low support right around 650, 651, and ran up to 678. So this is on an hour basis on a day. So let's bring it up to a daily three minute. Beautiful. I mean, the trend lines fall in right into place. So we did have a pullback from a triple top up here at 704. It failed that triple top. And I tell the lot tell the room a lot of times when we fail that triple top to go ahead and take your profit and not take the risk of getting stuck in a trade or holding a bag. And that's exactly what we did here. We got they could have got stuck in this trade up here, took that profit to 704, and it did pull back to 644 after right before the market closed. And it looks to me like we might have popped up here after hours back up to around 680. So there's a 40 cent pop right there if, if anybody had an idea to get in this trade. But me, I would have called support right here at this little level right here at 654. It might would have jumped in that trade and kept it. And she did run up from there and hit that 20. But again, I want to talk about this 20 SMA when I started seeing sign of weakness. And that's when we hit that triple top. So I would have got out of that triple top as soon as I could if I was in this trade. 
I was in too many trades today where I just kind of kicked back and helped help the room out a little bit. Kind of had a day of gym. And when she turned around, she did pull back. And now she's starting to curl up a little bit. So let's keep close eye on JNCE. I think we can break this area back up to this triple top and try to break it. And I don't think we'd see a triple, maybe a double. Not another triple on it. And she can run up here to this next resistance level of 728. But what we got to do is we got to break this, this high here. And I'm going to adjust this high just a little bit to around 707. So somewhere in between that, that 704, and that's only a three cent spread right there. So let's try to break it past that 707. That's more strict with that number. Because you can't hit that 704 and dip on back down. And this is JNCE. We've got a low support right here at 644, 654. And looks to me like we, we did go into after hours here at 7, 8, uh, 680. So I think she's ready to move on up some more. P A H C. And we got one more to talk about. G E N. And that's going to be Q T N A. And you know what? Q T N A is a little cutie. This is Quantana. You know, this company, very impressive company. You know, like I like to sometimes read about the companies and find out, like, why is this moving? Why is there actually on the stock? I mean, I've never traded the stock until today. And Quantana, you know, they provide Wi Fi solutions. And they combine, you know, semiconductor architecture with system level software and cloud analytics. So what they try to do is they try to obviously um, ensure that, you know, when you're on your Wi-Fi, that the speed is, you know, fast, reliable performance. And they recently did like a little bit of a test. They had a press release uh, last week. They did some sort of testing with Intel and they were able to uh, pass that. And, uh, you know, they have over 415 employees. They got nine, over 95 patents. They've d shipped over 200 million ch um, chips. I mean, they're just doing really well. They're actually going to also be at an event on March 18th at Roth Capital's 31st annual conference. They will be on a panel. And what they're going to talk about is technology, timing, and opportunity. And they're going to talk about 5G in particular. So that's interesting. They were also um, at an event uh, a couple weeks ago at Morgan Stanley's technology media and telecom conference. So this company is obviously invited to different venues. Um, but Quantina, like, you know, th I liked uh, the action today that I saw here uh, on the stock. And I mean, I did alert it at $19 and 61 cents. And I also liked the um, weekly chart on this stock and you know when it did run earlier in the morning i mean it ran a little bit and then pulled back and then i said no hold the stock looking for at least this 20 dollars and you know what very happy with the outcome of the stock very nice volume 2.78 million and uh high of day was 2025 and actually looking for a continuation here on this particular stock i mean it's closed at 20 dollars and 16 cents um you know what still very strong and i'm still i saw some nice buys just now after hours 71,435 shares just bought one minute ago at $20.16 so this to me is looking for a continuation on the stock and I want to hear what Jim has to say about this one and you know we talked about not too long ago that the semiconductors are starting to become a lot of, a lot more active in the market so this is one of them to be added to your watch list if you like stocks like this one or AMD or NVIDIA, you should add this to your list because this is part of that family of the semiconductors industry. So, Jim, over to you on QTNA. Very interesting. Very interesting chart here. We did have a breakout of a double top, and it did pull back a little bit. We had the double top right in this channel right here. I would say probably around the um, oh, 1891 area. I'm going to go ahead and draw that trend line in there. But this is a yearly ch chart. And today we broke past that double top area that's in this area right in here, right around 1890. And right now we closed it after hours at 2016. I want to see if there's any buys coming in. We got, we got 26 to 71,000 shares here at 2016. Somebody bought them some. That's for sure, 71,000 shares. So let's pull up the 20 day. That's a lot of money. We got a low support on this thing right around the $19 area. 
And then we have this gradual big jump today from actually 1844 all the way up to 2025 into close. And then she pulled back to a support level right around 2016 is where she sits right now. So we looked at that. Let's look at the three minute daily. What I see right now is a pullback support right here at the 1981. So I'm going to turn that into a big blue line right there. Uh, where do I do that at, Jim? Well, well, well. I don't know which one it is, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I won't worry about that later. i got two different price levels right there. So we've got this 1981, 1973 area for the pullback. If it wants to, your first support is going to be right here at the 1993. We'll see if we can break this double top that we just created into the close. And that double top will bring to break probably right around the 20, 2023 area. So let's see if we can bust past this 2023. If we can, we're going to go much higher on this trade. And for one more time, I'm going to go back to the year chart and look at it. And that'll be an all-time high for, for the year's chart. I'm just going to take one more look at the three-year. See if I'm missing out on anything. Yes, I am. I have a couple other opportunities to call resistance. I see one right here at 2048. Just, just a little bit. 2048. 46 and then I got another one right in here right around the 2073 area and she could run up to this other previous high which is right around under $21 and we still have more room to run on this trade next one resistance level I'm going to jot her down it's going to be right here at the 2121 and then one more right here right around the 2046 area so let's pull this back up to the week daily, three minute. Let's break this double top of 2143, and then we can go up to the new highs. And that would be the next new high on this one would be right around 2070, 2073, somewhere in that vicinity. And that's a 50 cent bounce right there. This is QTNA, and that does it for the stocks we're going to talk about. And Miss Vegas probably has a few more things she'd like to share. Yeah, with I just you want all. to mention, you know, this order of QTNA. So one yeah. of the things that I like to look at too when I trade is I did look at previous volumes, and this one had a nice volume surge weeks ago, and this would appeal to me this morning when I was looking at the stock. I'm like, you know what, this had very huge volume spike a couple weeks back, and I really then took a look further at the weekly, and I thought, wow, this is great. And you know that order that just went in after hours for 71,000 shares. I mean, we're talking, you know, $1.46 million of stock that's being purchased after hours. So, yep. you know, this uh, this has a potential definitely for a continuation. Um, so for those of you that like a uh, little pricier stocks, not everyone likes to trade stocks under $10. Um, this could be one that you may want to trade for a swing trade or a potential day trade even tomorrow. So Jim gave you all your supports and resistance. Um, so, of course, uh, you know, trade, uh, you know, what's, what's good for you. It's your account. And, you know, nothing we talk about here you have to even buy. So we're just sharing information it's for educational purposes. And uh, hopefully you learn from it. And uh, that's that. So uh, that basically wraps up the market report. You know, I will probably just throw in here. Uh, we did talk about one time the KEG, K-E-G. And, you know, that's had a beautiful move today, too. And we talked about that not too long ago. So I'm very happy that those of you that swing traded keg um, is doing very well. We, you know, we talked about that. It was, you know what? $3 and 10 cents. I cannot even believe like where it's at right now. It's just amazing. So it's really good sometimes to take swing trades. I mean, they could be sometimes boring and slow, but you know what? Um, they're stress free sometimes. And then it, you know, the move does happen slowly, but surely. So, Congratulations to all the traders out there. And uh, just want to also extend an invitation. You know, if you guys want to come to the chat room, again, you're welcome to come visit the website, click on the link, come and try the free trial. You don't have to join. We've said this many times before. I've had people that joined, learned, and then you know what? They don't join, and that's fine. So just feel free. Don't feel like, oh, my God, I want to come. I don't expect to join. No one has to join. Just come by. Come and learn. If you have time off during the week, uh, you're welcome to come if you have a couple days off work and you want to come join just to visit and learn. 
feel free. We welcome you all to come and visit uh, because we are here to help the trading community. And that's all I have to say. And I wish everyone a great night, a great trading day tomorrow. And let's continue to hopefully have some good setups and making money and helping each other and sharing of ideas. Jim, anything else you'd like to add tonight? Yes, I want to welcome all the women traders into the room. Miss Vegas, would you like to tell them about the little deal we're throwing? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I just want to just clarify. So I had a few of the female traders uh, message me and asked about um, the one-month trial for the ladies to support uh, International Women's Day. So it doesn't have to be for the month of March. Uh, it could be any month you want throughout the year. So you just let me know the month that you want. And then when, when that month, you know, when it's time for that month, you let me know. And then um, you'll come into the chat. So it's available for the whole year. You just pick the month that works for you. Some I had a few people that messaged me and said, you know, I work full time. I, I, I'm interested to learn, but I can't do anything till maybe June or July when I take vacation time. Can I come then? And so I messaged back and said, absolutely, that's the month you'll come in. You'll try for the, you know, you'll take your trial then. And that's totally fine with me. So whatever works for you, ladies, works for me. So thank you, Jim, for reminding me to bring that up. That's all right. Um, every day is International Women's Day, and I love stocks. So I want to bring that out, too. And, and please, would you subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell for future updates? This is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. March 12th, 2019, and we love stocks.